will there ever come a day where there is just not a ton of crypto news to get through along with the charts hopefully i can make a sub 20 minute video coming up soon all right guys welcome back to the channel jason pizzino here thank you for getting me to a hundred thousand subscribers on the channel Obviously, couldn't have done that without you. You guys are the ones that are watching it, liking up the videos, commenting, hitting me up on Instagram, Twitter, all of that good stuff. So I just want to say a huge thank you. I never thought I would get to 100,000 after starting several years ago now. Just want to make it a mention of that at the beginning. Thank you all so much. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video with the giveaway coming up. All right, huge day of news to get through, charts to look at. I have a lot of cryptos down the side here that I want to have a look at. I'm not going to get into all of them, but essentially the main things I want to talk about here is the potential further downside to Bitcoin, which we looked at in yesterday's video in more detail, looking at how to buy and sell areas of support and resistance using the FIB tool. So we're going to get into the news and then onto the charts. A few things I've got here, which might get your interest. Alt season is over. I'm going to go into some charts just to have a look at that. Maybe it's suggesting that alt season is over for now. However, I think that we are now going through multiple different alt seasons in different sectors. Like we saw last year through the Northern Hemisphere summer, the August time, there was the DeFi going crazy. Now through the winter, we've seen NFTs go crazy. Uh, previous to that, it was smart contracts and privacy coins, and it's just gone on and on and on. So I think we're now starting to get this rotation of crypto niches, whereas before all we had was a few dozen cryptos to trade with. And so overall, I'm going to look at a few charts where it looks like we are starting to get a bit of a, a cooling off, but this is a good thing. You can see here, I've got a few coins here, which I think are cooling off. They've done very, very well. And this is a time to be looking to enter. So don't leave the market. If it gets quiet from here through April, May, June, July, if if it does, especially with altcoins, Bitcoin might continue to go on a run. But if it gets quiet with altcoins, then don't leave the markets because they are going to be the times that you are going to kick yourself, as the scammers say in the comments, kick yourself for not sticking with the market and looking at these cryptocurrencies all the way through. All right, with that in mind, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Let's go for 110,000 subscribers. Obviously the goal here, let's go for 200 at the end of this year, but 110,000, sub, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video up if you find some value from the content. I'm enjoying all of your comments down below. Let's kick it off with the news. Coin market cap tells us we're at $1.6 billion. Bitcoin 52,000 after getting down to 50,000 US dollars. Ethereum 1600. Uh, Cardano still finding its way. It hasn't come back to that $1.30 level yet. We're just trading around $1 to $1.20. Polkadot's gone on a pretty steep decline, so 14% down over the last seven days. 24 hours, we've seen a lot of these cryptos bounce back. In particular, Ripple. Ripple is moving the opposite to the rest of the market because it looks like it's building up for some sort of big, bigger news announcement. Theta on the move again, but overall has been down over the last few days. But just this last uh, few hours since we've changed over to the new day, Theta's up 20 odd percent. But I don't think this is the next boom for Theta. It has come off a pretty decent high. Litecoin, one of the most disappointing cryptos over the last six months, or I mean, ever since its inception has been one of the most disappointing cryptocurrencies in comparison to other cryptos, which we'll get into in just a bit. So that rounds us out for the top 10. He looks like a new entrant here, Clayton. Don't know much about that. So let's move on with trends. Cardano NFT. Cardano dropping. It's fallen off at the moment. This is important. I'm continuing with this daily because it could be a good time to be getting into Cardano or at least start stacking another position. We don't want this. We don't want to see Cardano just sitting at all time highs in search terms day after day after day. Only once we've built a position, then we want to see that. But if we want to get in uh, back in and make another position, this is what we want to see. NFTs still pumping. It has fallen off its peak, but NFTs still seem to be the rage at the moment. Fear and greed has ducked down a fair bit, 54. Remember, we're following this daily. Neutral, greedy, uh, extreme greed and greed. So we're back to neutral now. This is a beautiful reset. And I hope, like I've talked about in yesterday's video, that we can sit around here for several weeks, just build a nice solid foundation. That would be ideally what we want to see. News time. 
Elon Musk, always on Twitter. Hopefully he doesn't get banned like Trump gets banned. But he's got here, don't defy DeFi. I doubt he will because Jack Dorsey loves Twitter as well. And so if you're talking, oh, sorry, he loves crypto. And so if you're talking about crypto, why would you be getting banned? All right, Elon Musk, don't defy DeFi. This is what I was talking about in one of the altcoin videos I did just a few days ago looking at new trends. Next trend is here, and this is talking about DeFi altcoins. So five days ago, I'm leading the news here. I'm leading Elon Musk. So the next piece is an article from Elon. Speaking of Twitter, we have Elon Musk responding to Kim.com. Massive following, 700,000 on Twitter. And of course, Elon Musk with these 49 or nearly 50 million. But Kim.com is just really going hard on the Bitcoin Cash here. Bitcoin Cash as an investment is terrible. That simple. I would not be buying Bitcoin Cash as a long-term investment with what we can currently see from the charts. And so I thought I would get in here and mention my own piece of news regarding this and reply to both. So Elon Musk, uh, this is obviously, well, should go to Kim.com as well. So if you decide to accept Bitcoin Cash as payment, just don't make the mistake of hodling Bitcoin Cash. Look at these poor bastards that were that got their Bitcoin Cash or were buying Bitcoin Cash in 2017. November, when it went crazy, was the potential flippening of Bitcoin itself. Never happened. And since that time, Bitcoin Cash has lost 98% of its value against Bitcoin. This is what I talk about when I compare a crypto versus another crypto. You really want to compare crypto versus crypto, in particular Bitcoin and Ethereum. If you were holding one Bitcoin's worth of uh, Bitcoin Cash at this peak level when it was going crazy in November, I remember that. I remember putting on a little trade at this time here just to catch this peak. You could have two Bitcoin Cash for one Bitcoin. So you, you sent your, you sold your one Bitcoin for two Bitcoin Cash, maybe two and a half. Now you have 98% less Bitcoin. That's an awful return. So just think about who you're listening to or you know who you're liking up here. This is a terrible, terrible tweet, Kim.com. Maybe he doesn't hold Bitcoin Cash as a long term, just uses it as payments, as he says here. I don't know. But long term, it's... It's a terrible, terrible investment. So I wanted to make mention of that, show my tweets. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, link in the description down below for my Twitter there. Thank you guys who have jumped on board. We've got another 500 or 600 people over the last day. Staking on ETH. Staked ETH Trust offering staking rewards to investors. Fund will be available to accredited investors with a minimum buying of 25 grand. Probably doesn't apply to many of us. We can just go out and buy our own ETH and then stake it on an app. The reason I bring this up is we've got an ETH, an ETH trust. We have a lot more news coming out for Ethereum. We have bigger players coming into Ethereum. You need a minimum of 25 grand to buy into this trust. And then when you're holding it, you can earn interest on it. And the interest was around 8% this year. Ethereum staking rewards are expected to be around 8%. This is just more exposure to big money. All right, Celsius, on to Celsius. Celsius app taps Simplex company, Israeli company for Apple Pay integration. So now you can purchase in-app, in Celsius app, uh, you can buy cryptocurrency within the app thanks to their partnership with Simplex, provides fiat on-ramp infrastructure for several cryptocurrency exchanges. Okay, so that just makes buying cryptocurrency a hell of a lot easier. If you're unsure of what Celsius is, it's very similar to a crypto.com where you stake your cryptocurrency to earn interest on the app, like BlockFi, like a lot of these uh, different sorts of apps. And uh, more big news for Bitcoin, CBOE, so Chicago Board Options Exchange, looking to relist or put the futures back on again. They went quiet after the peak in 2017, wasn't much traction going on with their exchange for Bitcoin. And obviously there's a lot of interest for Bitcoin right now, so they're coming back on board. This is a good sign. Another good sign for the continued growth of Bitcoin. So it's still all bullish news out there, but we've had to have some cooling off in the price. These things can't go up straight. And I know I say that in every single video, but there's still questions and comments from people. I really don't think they watch videos. I think they just hear something and just comment on the below. I don't think they understand how markets work. But anyway, moving on, Kasama grows its NFT ecosystem and supports the first ever crypto art exhibit. 
Okay, NFTs meeting with Kasama. Kasama is polka dot. You know, we know them as one of one of the same thing. Kasama being the test net of polka dot. So NFT buzzwords coming for the polka dot ecosystem. Moving on, want to buy a Tesla with Bitcoin? So this was the tweet that was out a few days ago, uh, looking at how you can actually do it, how you can buy a Tesla with your Bitcoin. It's nothing new, but I guess for a lot of people that don't really understand this. So there's no discount if you're paying with BTC. Okay, no worries. Uh, if you want to purchase your Tesla, you obviously need to get your address right because they're not taking any responsibility if you don't get the right address. There's no refunds. And uh, you need to pay within 30 minutes. So there was another comment here about paying quickly because of the volatility of Bitcoin. So you have to, you have about 30 minutes to make a payment. A Tesla representative for the Northeast region said Thursday. Nothing new that most people who have used cryptocurrency don't already know. So I think it's just a bit of a headline grabber here. Want to buy a Tesla with Bitcoin? It ain't easy. Basically, just send the money. It's not that hard. Okay, new tech allows crypto user to mint NFTs with proof of presence. So NFT news coming into the real world. A device cap capable of recording and encrypting data from the physical world. Capture data including location, temperature, air quality, motion, and even light levels and record it securely for a variety of blockchain related applications. So now you've got the NFT that you could connect to something like a COVID vaccine. And because it's recording what's going on around it at that point in time, there's some sort of tech might be in the, the freezer box that's holding the COVID vaccines, then it can actually record and say, well, this thing actually checks out and it's going to work and it's going to be, a, I don't want to call the COVID vaccine safe, but it's going to meet the requirements that it needs to be transported in for use. We'll call it that. So that's essentially the beauty about NFTs meeting the real world and having a, an amazing application. How can you make money from this? That's what we all want to know. We know that it's getting out there. We know NFTs are extremely popular. I've talked about it a lot with NFTs going into real estate. All those sorts of things seem fantastic, but we want to be able to make money from this. And I'm not making money from knowing that they can keep the, the temperature and the light levels and understand all of these all this data about keeping a COVID vaccine. So how do we do it? That's what we need to learn. And what I take from this is that they are here to stay. So that is a big a, a big move for NFTs in the crypto space. So they are worth the time to investigate further. And that's all I can take from this at this point. Sometimes you wonder, is this technology real or is it is it actually going to have anything, any value in the future? Just like people talking about blockchain, it's all nonsense, yada, yada. This shows real world usage and it is being applied now or it has the potential to, looks like, sounds like, easily be applied now. So that grabs attention. So that's why it's something to invest more time into so you can quickly understand where, where should I invest my time. More NFT information, news, NFT record. New York Times raises 500,000 for charity. I'm not gonna go into too much more about this, but again, it's here to stay. There's a lot more news coming out about that. Crypto.com in the NFT space as well. The first NFT drop on crypto.com slash NFT is coming in eight hours. So if you're on the platform, you just need to sign up, do your bits and pieces over there, and then they have some free NFT airdrops going on. Uh, it's a, uh, a new platform on crypto.com, which is pretty cool. If you want to sign up to crypto.com, get your $25 US dollars of free CRO tokens. Link to that is in the description down below. You know, I've talked about that quite a lot, especially in, in my wallets video, crypto.com app, super easy to use. All right, this was the giveaway that I wanted to just quickly chat about, the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. This link will be in the description down below, guys. So go and check this out. First name, last name, email, YouTube username, giving away three, three, 12 month memberships to the Investor Accelerator course. So all you have to do is just put your details in here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, this goes on to the newsletter as well. So we're getting uh, at the moment a fortnightly newsletter, which we plan to get out in the next week or so. It's for you guys that are asking, just put your details in here, run in, uh, you go into the draw to win that. And I'm going to announce that on the six, the details are down here. So the giveaway closes on the 5th of April and the 
winners will be chosen the following day. So make sure you're in that. If you just want to purchase it, because it's there's a lot of people that are applying for this, if you just want to purchase it, there's still the 10% discount code, which you can get a link to in the description down below. Prices will increase in about a week's time. I've said around the 30, uh, the 1st of April, going from $7.99 to $9.99. Just keep that in mind. It's still going to be, it's still a very good price. All right, let's have a look at the charts. Now, this was from yesterday. You know that I talked about this. Here it is. We've got quite a lot of charts to look at and we're very deep into the video. So I'm going to pick a couple and then come back to this in tomorrow's video. So the main ones we want to look at, Bitcoin, we've looked at that yesterday. Let's pick one from this list and one from the stalking list. Major disappointments, LTC, IOTA, not so major. It's been okay, but it's still a disappointing uh, move at the moment, but LTC. So let's take a look at a couple of these here and then the staking ones here. So Bitcoin at the moment, this is what we're looking at yesterday, learning how to use the Fib, Fibonacci tool, the 50% level. This is why I'm seeing around a 40 to a $45,000 Bitcoin drop. Ideally, that's where I want to see it. If it doesn't make it there, I, I, can, I can pivot. I can readjust I can, my view because I know how to use the tools. Right now, I want to see some more volume come in. We have not seen a good level of dumpage going on in the market. I think we should come back to at least this 50% level. And if that's the case, I'm going to move this back down to my level here, hopefully get a good solid drop to the 40K, 42K level. I know it's a long way. People said, I doubt it, not going to happen. I just see this is slowing down and it's just rolling over. Even if we get a little spike out, maybe we come back to this level here. We'll, we'll soon, soon see, but I'm open to all of these possibilities happening. And because I can see that it could possibly happen, I'm not going to get scared out of my position of... Uh, potential loss of you know 20 percent you know we've made a thousand two thousand percent from these lower levels so a little 20 percent is nothing to be concerned with let's take a look at the first one i, I had on the list here that was uh, i want to have a look at matic and ftt so we're going to quickly go through these as opposed to diving head first deep into them matic btc it looks like it's cooling off. Everyone was getting really hyped about Matic uh, and now it's just cooling off. This is a good thing. 50% level is around 500 sats. That's the first target. Next target's around 400 Satoshis. Currently sitting at around 600 Satoshis. And I, I think at this stage, this is the cooling off. This is the pattern that you will continue to see on all the charts. If you go and spend the time doing it, top, you got a low, you got a lower swing top, and then it breaks that swing low. That is a down sign. See back here, you had a little top, but then it didn't break the low. This low didn't break the previous low, and now we've gone through and broken the low. It means that these alts are starting to roll over at the moment. It's not over forever, okay? I always have to make that really, really clear. Matic Network USD, again, top, low, another swing top, and we've broken through that. We see here, it doesn't break it, doesn't break it, doesn't break it, it's strong. Now it's weak. That's, that's nature, that's life. 50% level is around 27 cents. I think we could probably go a little bit further and it tends to be what happens with these altcoins. They'll they'll do a 60, 70% drop, reaccumulate and then go again. So at the moment, Matic eyeballing this one off. Another project which I really like is FTT. So this is FTX exchange. I think this has started rolling over again. Look at the same pattern, top, swing low, little swing top not as convincing but we've got a little one here and it's broken down this doesn't go straight down all right so if you all of a sudden see five percent up and you guys are like oh you know the video didn't age well relax there's still time this thing took three months to go up from the lows here in december to these peaks in mid-march could take a month or two to get to these levels down here if we in fact go that far it could line up with these highs at around 50 percent. it could line up with these highs look at that high 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 4,000 Satoshis looks good from 6,000. It's crazy to think it could get that far, but stranger things have happened. So I've got my eye on FTX because it's a great project long term. I just think some of the weak hands have been buying up in these areas, not much volume, just not being able to push through. That's the way it goes. FTX, another big one on my list. Let's take a look at what we had over here. We had Badger, Ramp, Uni, Ada. Of course, we've got to take a quick look at Cardano. This is another, I've got it here on the stalking. So Cardano is USD $1.10, just in this little range here. See the volume dropped out as we tried to peak again. And that was the biggest news. That was the Coinbase news. 
where did it go? Nothing. It's fallen. So I, I think this definitely needs some energy to build back up into the market. That is the low that I'm watching here at that 90 odd cents level. This peak or this price at $1.20 was where I said I was selling some Cardano, got absolutely destroyed by a handful of people watching the videos. You can see now why this is going back three weeks now. You just got to get a feel for the markets and work in with the timing of the markets. You don't always get it right, that's for sure. But that really did feel like it was just overextended. So we're having some time here. It's holding up reasonably well in the dollar value. But in terms of BTC value, it's had a little peak and we've softened again. Another little peak and I think we will soften again. We break this low at 2000 Satoshis. Wait to see this one broken at 1750 Satoshis. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I don't think this little peak is going to hold us up. Cardano, still a great project, project long term, just got to protect the capital. And you will know that feeling now that we've had the market dip so hard. And you're like, what do I do now? Should I be selling now? It's like, guys, remember, we're selling on the way up. But you can see from the comments, you tell someone to sell Cardano when it's at the levels of $1.20, $1.40, they'll bite your head off look what we're doing. It's just softening. It definitely softened against Bitcoin and Ethereum value. You can see that just dipped right down. Look, it's just the same story over and over again. This is why the markets continue to repeat. All right. The other ones we want to look at was Chili's. That went absolutely nuts. You can see again, it's softening, softening, falling, falling. Peak, swing bottom, swing top, breakdown of the low. I tend to think we'll probably get, get somewhere around that 30 cent level. You know, fingers crossed we get a little lower down. Fingers crossed we go even further. Uh, uh, make it another good buying level, but obviously we'll keep an eye on this one. So that's Chili's. Uh, engine was the last one I want to have a quick look at here. Engine, engine, USD. Getting close to that 50% level. I think we'll probably break it and come a little further down. Definitely on my list. Engine did perform extremely well. I'm very uh, re re regret regrettably, I should say. Someone asked me on Instagram and I did sell out in these 50 cent level areas after we got a little spike down. Uh, I was buying it back here. You can see that post on the YouTube community page. It was a big piece of news from Japan and I thought, screw it, I've made my two times or three times. I'm out of engine because it's something that I've been playing for, for years. <laughs> what do you know? Away we go. But anyway, I'm keeping my eye on this because I think it's got good long term potential and I want to pick it up at a lower price. All right, on to the other stalking cryptos. Badger is not... It's just still down. It's it's still down at these lower levels. Um, we've looked at ADA, Ethereum BTC. So let's just do a couple of those because we're getting on in time here and I want to come back to it in another video, spend a bit more time. Badger at $35 continues to just creep down the dollar values. Okay, so 35 bucks, 40 bucks. It's just not going anywhere. And I'm waiting to see a reversal sign before I purchase any Badger. If that means we get a reversal and it bounces right back to 40 something dollars, so be it. You know, that's just the way it goes. But from 30 bucks, it could go further. And I'm wait, happy to wait to see a reversal sign, which we'll talk about on the channel. Now, if you can hear a baby back in the background crying, it'll stop soon. Let's move on to the next cryptocurrency. And I want to look at uh, ETH BTC. That's where it was here. So ETH BTC. 0.031. We had a spike down below the 3% level. It's not looking awfully strong. Just got to keep waiting. This thing is slowly bleeding out against Bitcoin. There will be a reversal at some point. Maybe we come back to this 0.028. I'm still buying into Ethereum. It's something that I prefer because I, I can then reach or grow my Bitcoin value from that. So I can buy some Ethereum and it goes up against the Bitcoin value. That's what we're all here waiting for to get a bit more Bitcoin in there. Uh, this, we've been looking at this probably about five weeks down from the top. And that's not new to us. That's exactly what we we're talking about just a few weeks ago because of the timing patterns. I know you hear that term all the time, exactly what we were looking at. But essentially, that's what we got here. All right. Last couple, poker study. That's something that I'm stalking, but it's dying off. Look at Pokerstarter. Pokerstarter broke through these lows at which bounced off the 50%. So this is very weak at this point in time. But I still like the project long term. I think we're going to come back and test this little consolidation level, which was around $2 to 250. If we happen to break through that. Unfortunately, next levels are around that $1.50 to two bucks. 
And so from this 340, I don't see much holding it up except for the three bucks. But look, we've got to wait and see. I want to see a reversal before I get interested in buying Pokestarter again. This was a failed swing out of this accumulation area, which leads me to believe that we do have a little further to go with Pokestarter. Last one I want to take a look at is Litecoin BTC, the most disappointing altcoin of 2020. Large cap altcoin. Even XRP, I believe, has done a little better than this. So that's saying a lot. Litecoin, it continues to bleed out against Bitcoin value, which means you're better off holding Bitcoin for less risk because Bitcoin is less risky than Litecoin. Litecoin against the US dollar, it can make you think that you're actually getting somewhere because it's gained in US dollar value. But so it has Bitcoin, but it's lost a lot of value against Bitcoin. And so this is all we've seen with Litecoin. Can it still get to $1,000 this year? I think so, because I think Bitcoin's going to go up. Will it get those nice big spikes against its Bitcoin value? History tells us that it can still do that. Right now, it's just going to the depths of hell on this chart. Let's hope we get a reversal sometime soon and we see this thing spike out of these terrible lows. So that's what we're looking for here, one of these spikes with Litecoin. That's pretty much it for this video. That's the, the disappointments, the, the cryptos that we're stalking and uh, cryptos which are cooling off and I'm waiting for a, an entry point here. If you enjoyed that, let me know. Hit that like button down below. Which cryptos are you looking for? I took some of these from the list that you guys left on the YouTube community page, which you can follow by subscribing down below. Let's see, we go to 110,000 by the end of next week. How about that? 110,000. Thank you very much for the 100,000 already. Like I showed you before, we got the giveaway here. So jump on board for that. Three free places into the 12-month membership to learn how to trade and invest. So make sure you leave your details down below. Like the video, subscribe, you know all the good stuff. If you want to trade SwiftX down below for the Aussie guys, use those links down below for your $10 of free Bitcoin. And Binance is also down there for 10% off your trading fees. Thank you once again, guys. I'll catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.